Amos Stellar discovered something new, but he must never tell, for then this something shall cease to be his. His fingers glance up in wonder as he sits at the foot of his bed. Here he sits, smug and determined not to tell his fingers, though his entire being is radiating golden energy. Amos Stellar smiles in proud cortex. and tilts his head toward the dank and musty ceiling. The room is cold, of course, and filled with pulsating light. His bed is rusty and echoes its creaking throughout wood floor and felt stained walls. There is a bed. There is a window. A circular window to the world is all Amos Stellar has to see. So high was this ovular egg that Amos Stellar had to shove that rickety wood chair against the wall in order to see what he saw. He could see down, he could see across, crooked vines, stained branches, the rising fog that greets October. Yellowed valleys caressing golden foothills. Colors he had never known, for he had seen everything through that flaxen pane. Why can't we see a Stella? Hissed the longest finger. He shot them a look of annoyance and stepped down from the chair. He lightly stroked the smallest, as this was his favorite, and whispered words. Branches chitter in the wind-swept air. Floating crow, give not a care. Never will I see you there, my love. And kissed the smallest named Salonese on its tip. He smiled and gazed off into nowhere. The boy decided it was time for bed and told his fingers it was time. When Amos Deller slept, he had not the dreams of a normal man or child. His dreams were made out of the finest lace surrounding him and tickling his feet. Amos Deller awoke to find vibrant colors surrounding him and patterns of light encircling him. He had returned to this place that was new. He had remained there, past that flaxen pain.